Turn now to the race for U.S. Representative District 27, Republican Maria Elvira Salazar, winning re-election, beating Democrat Annette Tadeo, 57 percent of the vote to her 43 percent. Local 10's Cody Weddle is live at the Elvira Salazar watch party in Miami. Cody. And Nicole, this was just an incredible night for incumbent Maria Elvira Salazar. This was projected to be one of the closest races in the country. So I think even her team was a little surprised by how well they did. In the end, with 99% of precincts reporting, she has roughly a 15-point lead over her opponent, State Senator Annette Tadeo. So you can bet that in the coming months, Republicans, Democrats, people around the country will be looking at this race for insights, insights into why Hispanic voters are shifting to the Republican Party. Remember, this is a district that only four years ago went to a Democrat, uh, Donna Shalala. Now, it was redistricted. Uh, they carved out Miami Beach, a heavily Democratic area, but still, this was a surprisingly large victory for uh, Salazar. Tonight, the Congresswoman said decisively that Hispanics are shifting to the GOP. This election proves what Ronald Reagan famously said, the Latinos are Republicans, they just don't know it. Until tonight, because 2022 has been the year of the Hispanic Republicans. For the last two years, the radical left has tried to change the course of this country, but the founding fathers created a system that was too strong and is still standing on the pillars of faith, family, and freedom. And Salazar promised to be bipartisan going forward tonight. She said her office would be open to all members of Congress, Republicans and Democrats. We're live in Miami tonight. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. Okay, dancing through the night after that victory too. Thanks a lot there, Cody. We're also getting reaction from Annette Tadeo. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live in South Miami with this part of our team coverage. Christina. And as Cody just mentioned, this was supposed to be going in a very tight race. That did not happen. Of course, there was a strong showing from Republicans in terms of voter turnout. But Annette Tadeo says she couldn't quite overcome this, just a deluge of negative attack pieces, ads, money going into this race. She feels like she was financially outgunned and out organized by an energized Republican Party, leveraging her concession speech tonight to send a strong message to Democratic Party leadership. Take a listen. We know how to win in Florida, and Florida can be won again, but we need to organize and we need to realize that you can't just go, oh, Florida is done, let's walk away, which is what Democrats do. You know what Republicans do? They lose in Florida and they invest even more. They spend even more time with the people. They communicate in Spanish and in English and in Creole, and they target minority communities, but guess who does the work for minority communities? Democrats. It is Democrats who deliver. She said the insights nationwide for this election is that the Democrats are even sending a message to the Democratic Party. She also believes there should be more exciting candidates for Democratic voters to choose from. In her words, she said that Democrats tend to want to fall in love with their candidates, but Republicans fall in line. Reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.